Uh, by this point, treatments had become absolutely necessary for me to manage my pain. Uh, basically, once a week, twice a week, I had to get physical therapy. I had to go to a chiropractor because my, mus my muscles were so tight. Um, it was really the only thing that offered relief. Um, but the problem just kept getting worse and worse. And for, it started on my neck, gone to my shoulder, my upper back, my mid back, my lower back, uh, my wrists, like my feet, um, my pelvis, like my hip area. And that was probably the toughest pain to deal with at all um, because I had a really hard time sitting and I, I couldn't drive my car anymore. I couldn't sit at my office chair. Um, I was in a lot of pain and, you know, I couldn't concentrate and, you know, I hate taking medicine, but I had no choice. I had to start taking some pretty strong painkillers. And as you can imagine, um, I wasn't performing very well at work anymore. I couldn't concentrate, um, you know, every 15 minutes, like I literally had to lie on the floor at my office, uh, just so things would calm down. Um, you know, I got these brand new ergonomic chair, like a split keyboard, this crazy mouse. Um, but, you know, it didn't really help too much. And by that point, I could barely move my neck anymore. Like I kind of moved around like a zombie. And pain was the absolute focal point of my life. Uh, that's all it had become about. Um, and I was convinced what I was suffering from was a repetitive stress injury. Uh, sometimes referred to as RSI. Uh, basically, everyone was telling me I was sitting too much, I was at a computer too much, and for whatever reason, my body was sensitive to things. So if I could eliminate all these physical stresses from my day, um, I could make progress from my treatments. I wouldn't have to get a treatment and then sit at a desk all day and then get a treatment and sit at a desk all day. Um, if I didn't have these physical stresses, I could just keep making progress, and eventually things would get better. Um, and things were so bad. Um, I would come home and lie on the floor for like four hours after work. Like I could barely move. Like it sucked. And um, enough was enough. Um, I knew I had to take extended time off. Um, and it was the only way I was going to get my life back. And just to give you a sense, you may have thought about this already, but taking a medical leave from work is a very, very difficult thing to do. Um, to come to terms with yourself, um, especially if you're very young, but it doesn't really matter how old you are, but to come to terms that you are disabled and you cannot work and you cannot live a normal life anymore. Um, to then have that conversation with a coworker or your boss or your supervisor and come out into public that you're sick, nobody wants to do that. And when you have back pain or neck pain or whatever, it's very hard for people to relate to what you're going through because on the outside, seemingly you look healthy. You know, I was young, I look healthy, but I'm in all this pain. They just don't understand. Um, you know, I was lucky that they're very supportive, um, but inside, like, I would, you know, I fear that, you know, maybe they think I'm a big wuss or that I'm weak um, or even worse that I'm faking it. Um, I had a few coworkers who I could, they never said anything, but they were pretty upset with me uh, because I was leaving at a time when the workload was just very high, um, but I just couldn't do it anymore. I had no choice. Um, I'm a hardworking person. Um, I didn't want to let anyone down, but I really had no other option. Um, nothing else mattered to me anymore except regaining my health. And, you know, taking the medical leave as difficult as it was, turned out to be the best decision I've ever made. Um, I was able to focus on my health full time and, you know, I continued down that status quo path, you know, going to the chiropractor, the physical therapist, osteopath, doing certain exercises, getting, you know, manual treatments. Um, there was no stress in my life. You know, I went for long walks, you know, I hung out with friends. Um, Yoga was the only physical activity I could do anymore, so I did a lot of yoga. Um, I started meditating, and you know all these physical stresses were gone, um, and it was just a matter of time before I was going to get better, right? Um, so I thought. Uh, three months had passed. I was in as much pain as ever, and I basically exhausted all my medical leave, and I had to quit my job. Um, and 
really by this point things had hit rock bottom. Um, the pain was with me. Of every moment, um, of every day, I would wake up with it. I would go to bed with it. Um, it just followed me around like a ghost. Um, I was depressed. I was moody, um, unpleasant to be around, and I had really become a shadow of my former self. I had tried so hard and really done everything I possibly could think of to get better, but I had made no progress. Um, in fact, things just kept getting worse, and I was terrified. I was very scared. What was I going to do? Um, by this point, my quality of life had really deteriorated. I I'd basically had to give up everything in my life that was important to me and had given me meaning. I couldn't exercise. I couldn't drive. Um, I couldn't work. Uh, I, I couldn't travel and go anywhere. Uh, I couldn't play my guitar anymore. Um, life was no longer about what I could achieve and accomplish. It was basically about what I couldn't do anymore. Um, and what scared me the most was if things were this bad at 26, what was life going to be 10 years from now? Um, I couldn't support myself anymore. Like, would I have to move back in with my parents? Um, how much more pain was I going to be in? How was I going to pay my bills? Um, just, it was a very, very dark time for me. And I'd be lying if I didn't admit that it feels a bit uncomfortable, uncomfortable being so open with you for my life. Um, but I'm telling you this because I know many of you can relate to what I'm saying and you know how difficult things can get and it's very dark and it's very tough and I know some of you may have had it even worse than me or have been dealing with it for even longer but if you found this video all I can say wherever you're at in the recovery process things will get better I can promise you that you finally found your answer